were talking to Dion uh, after the game yesterday, and you know, new season, new players, a lot of the same people getting to know each other, coming together as a team. And what what's that process been like, and what can you say about the group and, and being around them here the last couple of weeks? Yep, it's been awesome, man. Just day in and day out, just competing with one another. Um, you know, you really get to gel together and form that relationship with guys. Um, so, so far it's been good. We got a couple more, one more game left, so make it our best one. So far, um, how do you think the defense has been able to um, just grow together? And what have you seen out of, out of the group so far? Yeah, I think this is going on five years. Uh, for some of us together. So it's been cool. I mean, it's hard going against the same guys every day, but this week we'll get to put it on display um, a little bit, I think. So it should be fun. But yeah, I mean, guys just know what one another's going to do. You know, you've just been with somebody for so long. It's kind of like a, you're building that relationship. Um, so yeah, I mean, just playing off one another uh, and just having, I think the biggest thing is just having fun. You know, sometimes that aspect gets lost of it a little bit. Guys say sus stuff too seriously, but just going out there and playing fast, free, and, and just having fun. Do you think it's easier to have fun during these practices on Sunday or whatever, the doctor's training camp, and you guys have been together for so long? Yeah, a little bit, but at the end of the day, it's still, it still works, so you got to get that done. Last year, obviously, no preseason games. Um, you know, because of the pandemic. Uh, did that change kind of your outlook on the amount of snaps you need in preseason or uh, in, in any way, you know, change the way you look at this preseason? Yeah, not really um, so much for me, but I think it's very helpful for, for the younger guys. Um, those guys get the opportunity to put on display what they can do and show the coaches um, what they can bring to the team. What have you been telling some of the younger guys as you transitioned from a training camp practice now to kind of like a regular season more format? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the same stuff, you know, still still taking everything super seriously. Um, but as far as just telling the younger guys stuff, it's more of a, you just got to go out there and play. Once that mental aspect um, gets a little too heavy, they start to slow down a little bit. So just going out there, playing free, and that's what they get evaluated on, you know, at the end of the day. What is having Star back going to do for you to help you do your job? That'll be huge. I mean, Star's up there um, plugging those front gaps. Uh, he's a he's a load, so it's, it should be it should be fun. You know, what do you think of the? Obviously, there's a lot of competition behind you um, and the linebacker core, uh, Andre and uh, the Terrell and Terrell. Uh, you know, just kind of what do you think of the depth you guys have at linebacker? Yeah, it's been fun. A lot of. A lot of competition, you know, everything is evaluated seriously. Um, it's helped bringing my game up a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, we got some great guys in our room. Everybody's competing, everybody's challenging each other and uh, helping each other along the way. Last week, you, have, you guys had um, Luke Heakley in for a couple days. What was that experience like? And having him out here, kind of like a, you know, coaching experience. Like roll for a couple of days. What was the whole experience like? Yeah, it was it was super cool. I mean, Luke's a great guy. His his mind is on another level. Um, so just being able to pick his brain and ask him a couple questions, um, what he thinks, what he's seeing, what he's feeling. He was one of the, if not the best, to do it. So having him around was pretty cool. Definitely got some good um, some good intel from him.